I got something new. We're going to try today cultivating. Hopefully it works. Stick around and I'll show you. Welcome back guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you for uh, another video uh, and watching and subscribing and comments and appreciate it all. Um, so the Hastings come up good and we're going to go to the Hastings field in a little bit. I want to show you what I, I'm going to do in a second here. As you remember, you've been watching the channel. I planted it in, in kind of a center of a layoff area, which uh, I can't wait too long in that field because it has nut grass. And so I kind of have to, as soon as I can start cultivating it, start cultivating it. And I'm afraid right now that it's, it's not about this tall. I'm afraid that if I try to put the rolling cultivators right on it, it's going to roll that dirt down in the center more than I want it to and cover a lot of corn up. So we're going to use what, well, I'm going to try this. We may have to go back to the cultivators. I don't know. We're going to use what I call some roll knockoffs, and we're going to try to knock some of that off and come back and cultivate it with the rolling cultivators where it's not such rolling down in there. And here's what we're going to do. These are roll knockoffs, and they're going to run and hit and shoot it to the side here. Uh, and I, I added this. I'm going to try to capture a little bit of it back and put it back closer to the plant to give the rolling cultivator something i actually changed the angle last year i used these a little bit and i think i made a comment on one of last year's video i said you know those things do a lot more dirt it seemed like when i was little and it didn't dawn on me that maybe the angle of that half shovel there uh was wrong so i did free up the bolts on my farm all foot where i can change the angle of that thing back and forth so we got it actually leaning forward now. So hopefully we'll see if it kind of scoops and throws some dirt. But we'll head up to the field and uh, I'll meet you there. And just like that, we're back. We're at the field. Uh, guys, I, I, I come in about a foot or two here. And I can see I wasn't gonna like it. My arms are way too loose on that tractor to be those knockoffs uh, they come from a Lilliston two row better and that's what they were mounted on and they need something a whole lot more rigid you know non-movable and plus the fact that the one on the left was unlevel because my arms unlevel uh, we're gonna take our chance with the rolling cultivators hopefully it's it's a little taller than it was the other day um it's got some decent height on it so we're going to take our chance that hopefully it doesn't uh, cover up anything these one two three four five six seven eight nine about the first 10 11 rolls did real good there's a kind of a slack area out there but it was plenty enough stand to rate obviously keeping it because the end game, the end game of this is anyway, is to, you know, have a little bit of seed, you know, put up, put back a couple gallon bags of seed for next year and then give Roger the rest for his chickens. So we're putting the rolling cultivators on. It shouldn't be, shouldn't take me but a minute or two here. Get these tightened up, ready to go. I don't have these things set real aggressive, so they shouldn't throw a lot of dirt. I'll come back and change the angle on them when the corn starts getting a little taller. We'll come back and change that angle.
I really enjoy this wrench for putting those things on and off. All right, so it was a thought. Um, unless I had a whole lot stiffer arms on this tractor, I don't see. And I, here you go, Will, why it's on the bed. So my thought was, guys, this one, this one was going to be on the right side of the tractor, just like that, and it was going to run along and you let it down and that dirt would have hit right here and it basically just scrapes it off. Now on the Lilliston two roll better, there's a set of rollers right behind this. So these would be running in a set of rollers right here. So those rollers would be putting it right, right back in the bed. Now I was gonna make two passes out of it. I did which we may have to plow some corn with these this year. I do want to see if I got, I want to see if I got this any better because I do have these broke loose now where I can adjust them right here. So I do want to see that I got that better. I'm sure, let's see, I'm sure we'll have talked about and I may have already addressed this in the comments, but just in case I haven't addressed it in the comments, I may have. A couple of videos back, we put up an electric fence. I didn't pay attention to the jewels when I ordered it, and it was a .07 jewels or something like that. And then I said, oh, okay, I'll get a jewel one. So I got a jewel one. It came the next day, hooked it up, one jewel. And I texted a buddy of mine, he said, no, nah, that ain't enough. So it actually has a 6.5 joule electric fence on it. And it's been on there for a couple of days now. And uh, we're, we're gonna stop at that. If it, if 6.5 don't bite them hard, then we ain't gonna worry about it. Let's cultivate a little bit and see how she does. And hopefully won't cover it up. guys had to sneeze there sorry about that we'll cut that out uh now i was just thinking so it's working perfect it is plowing actually fine it's not it's not throwing too much dirt it's not uh 
covering up anything. I, I may have had one clod cover up something in these last four rolls, but it's just, uh, it got me to thinking how my disappointment because the knockoffs wasn't going to work right went to, I, I don't want to say excitement, but gladness that this is working just fine. Uh, kind of same thing Jesus does with us. He'll take our disappointments and turn it into happiness or gladness or, or uh, peacefulness would be a good good word to use. But this is going to work fine. Matter of fact, when it gets a little more height on it, uh, we'll come in here and turn up the coal a little bit on it and it'll go ahead and lap it on over. So th this is actually pretty good. You know, I was really worried about this being too deep with that planter. And you guys seen the video, it, a lot of the sections, it was putting it the full, full length of that sword. And uh, it didn't seem to have a problem coming up at all. So, you know, I, I'm pretty satisfied with that planter now. As a matter of fact, the big planting video with the beans and butter beans and stuff, that's the reason why I used that planter is because I seen what it would do. And I knew I wouldn't be planting as deep the beans as I did this because the dirt knocking the roll off it wasn't near as soft but uh yeah work working great cultivating great and and these first 10 or 12 rolls like I said are just almost solid the corn the last four or five they're going to be a little weak in some spots I didn't seen it because I actually came up yesterday with a hoe and got out some of the big grass clumps that that uh were coming on that I knew the cultivators wouldn't get out um, so I did see a few spots over there that were eh, a little weak, but it'll be okay. Um, appreciate everybody. Channel still growing. Uh, golly, I told Lino, I, I, I got more subscribers last week than when I started this channel. I thought I would ever have. I mean, it was close to a, uh, a couple of hundred in just a few days and uh man I, I appreciate each and every one i hope i can bring y'all some good content i'm a little under the weather today i got another cold and it, it was really kind of disappointing because i just a couple of videos back you probably heard me saying something about having a cold and a bad chest cold and it was and i got over it and and doggone it if if my sinuses didn't start getting messed up again, and, and no, I don't have allergies. I I, uh, I have been known back when I was younger to cut a fill of ragweeds and come in the house looking like the Hulk and never sneeze one time. Not to say you couldn't develop allergies, but I'm fairly certain it's not allergies. I, I don't ever get bothered by that, but just, I don't know. Maybe it's those construction sites I go to and you know, they got 200 different people there and touching everything everywhere, I, I don't know. But hopefully this will be the last one for the summer. It doesn't seem to be as bad as what I had a couple weeks ago, thank the Lord, but hopefully we'll get over it pretty quick. And uh, so yeah, it honestly, you know you need to cultivate this and uh, regardless whether I film it or not, I need to cultivate it. And so obviously if we're gonna cultivate it, we're gonna film it too, so anyway. Y'all enjoy. We're going to get Will to film a little bit more on the way out and uh, probably put a little music to it or something and hopefully you enjoy it. God bless you. We'll see you on the next one.